You know, when I first sat down to watch this and were introduced to the two main characters, two girls, probably in their late teens, who are just wild and going crazy, they're just super high energy and come across as a little bit obnoxious. So at that point I was thinking, these two are unbearable, how am I supposed to relate to them? But you know what, after a while the movie settled down a little bit, the tone changed, the characters got a lot more sympathetic. And I actually ended up invested in their story and liking this a fair bit. But what is the story here? Well, the premise is super simple. It's about these two girls from a poor neighborhood who have decided to get out. They're determined to move to New York and leave their miserable lives behind. They have everything set up and are ready to go when things start to go wrong. It's just one thing after another, one obstacle after another that prevents them from leaving. And the characters kinda get humbled and that's when I started rooting for them. I started wanting them to succeed, I sympathized with their situation and could relate to their struggles way more than I would have guessed at the start of the movie. And a lot of that is not just the writing of the story but also the performances. Especially Michaela Korinsky who is sort of the main character out of the two girls. The movie follows her a bit more closely than the other girl. And her performance is great in this, she just completely sold that character. I really believe that she's in that situation and that she's willing to do whatever it takes to get out. We also get into her relationship with her mom a little bit, which is complicated and strained and that came across as totally believable too. And we even had a bit of an interesting thing going on with her little brother too. So there's quite a bit of stuff going on in the background here. A lot of details that just make the whole thing feel more real. Make it more relatable and you start to understand why she feels the need to leave. Meanwhile, I don't think the other girl really had enough of that sort of nuance going on and she felt a bit more flat and underdeveloped so I didn't really end up relating to her as much. She's also not as compelling of a character and retained a bit of that obnoxious quality throughout. The thing that I just found to be really off-putting in the beginning of the movie. But at the same time I guess it created a nice contrast between the two girls which probably made it a lot more interesting than if they'd just been too similar. Other than that though, there's not really much to say about this one. It's well shot and put together, nothing amazing but it definitely works. It's also fairly short and it didn't feel like it dragged or overstayed its welcome. It's just a very simple and effective movie that did exactly what it set out to do. It told the story about two girls who feel stuck and desperate to get unstuck. Of dreams and aspirations, of wanting something more out of life. And it managed to perfectly convey those feelings through these characters. Without even going into details about what it is they actually want to do once they get out. Or what their actual plans are, but that desperation to escape is just so palpable. That you don't necessarily even need to know what they're pursuing. Because maybe they're not pursuing anything specific, just something different. And maybe they just feel like anything has to be better than feeling stuck for life. I mean, it's really quite simple and straightforward, but it still had a fair bit of depth too. And yeah, I ended up enjoying it quite a bit. I thought it worked really well. But would I recommend it? Maybe. If you enjoy small indie dramas, this might be just the thing. So perhaps check it out. Perhaps don't. I'm not your dad. But I am trying to sell out, so consider liking, subbing, hitting that bell and supporting me on Patreon. Because I really need to book myself a trip to New York. And hey, why not drop a comment below or check out another review? I'd appreciate it. Thanks.